I started six years ago in education, the program has definitely grown for children that need buddy packs. Uh, just from last year in our school, um, and not every child that is on free and reduced, but through free and reduced program benefits from buddy packs, but they, we went from 37% to over 50% in one year. So that does tell you a little bit about what our families are experiencing and the stresses that they have upon them. I have ran lots of groups as a school counselor outside of school. Um, they, and that's mainly to, because the children have to be in their class as much as possible in order to get the academic help because they're not getting that help at home as much. And then, but then after school, for their emotional needs and, and learning social skills and things like that, like I've ran a salvaging sisterhood group to help with girls and relational aggression, girl bullying, those sorts of things. And then I've ran groups before school as well. And it's pretty amazing because the parents, it, it just kind of fits into their schedule to, for kids just to stay here <laughs> before and after school because they drop them off for before they go to work. But um, but it's just something that seems to work out better to, to keep the kids um, for that period of time so that they can get all of their needs met. So it's almost some of their school days are pretty long by the time they've, they've been a part of all these things that they need. Um, I had a child come to me that, and she was just not happy. She has been, she had met with me for a few times and I just tried to give her some coping skills and some different things to work on and she just kept coming back and one time she admitted to me that um, that she wanted to commit suicide. And I knew and I had known that her parents were going through a divorce and dad just left and wasn't a part of the family at all. And so she said that you know she didn't know what to do and that this time she was in fourth grade and that she didn't want to bother her mom because her mom was too busy trying to keep everything together and you know now she was a single parent and um, so we talked in great depth about it and I finally uh, told her that we needed to talk with her mom that you know I could help her mom find some place to help her so with a child in my office I called the mother and we um, and then mom came in and we all sat down and talked and um, as a mandated reporter I made a referral and they got help that day and they went to you know um, to counseling for her and she actually was admitted and said that it was one of the best experiences of her life because just the act of somebody saying we're going to help you made her feel like she, she was loved and she wasn't being forgotten by everybody even if even if dad has left other people care. This year she asked if it would be appropriate if she could share her story when we started talking about feelings of sadness and so I said and, and I thought that was great because that means that you know that she's proud that she got help and she's proud that she worked through it and you know that she doesn't want other people to feel that way so to me that and that was just one of those things I never thought I would deal with at elementary I just didn't think that kids thought that way this young and uh, and it was really hard to accept but you know the fact that through helping helping her get help and helping her mom get help and it, it and reaching out to them and then reaching out to me it just made the whole situation stronger and and just showed everybody involved that that we can get do it if we work together 